Hello, my name is David, David Okonkwo, and thank you for joining us today. In the Gospel reading, Jesus told the Pharisees, Where am I going? You cannot come. As we approach the end of Lenten season, this is a good time to ask the question of Jesus. The question Jesus asked the Pharisees to ourselves. Are we still acting like the Pharisees? Jesus told the Pharisees that they are of this world and therefore will die in their sin in this world. Well, what does that mean for us today? We still have people who do not believe in the teachings of Jesus Christ. We have people who believe, but with a lukewarm faith. Some people believe but not strong or even practice their faith when their time allows. Which one do you belong to? Which part of your life did you work on this Lenten season? It is not too late to squeeze out any part of your life you have thought on working on. There is still time. So all of us do have parts of our lives we can work on. Let us do it because that is what those who belong to Jesus Christ strive to do. Jesus said, I belong to what is above. And so all who believe belong to Jesus and also belong to what is above. And all who do not believe belongs to what is below and therefore will die to their sins and remain below since they belong to what is below. So our job as those who belong to Jesus is to follow Jesus in truth and in faith. To follow and obey his commandments of loving the Father, loving ourselves and our neighbors as ourselves. To love in all occasions and in all circumstances, bearing for one another which means that we are willing to forgive ourselves when we fail, our neighbors. These are our willingness to belong to what is above. For our God is merciful. We will be shown the same mercy as he showed to Israelites with the bronze serpent, that they might live after a bite from the seraph serpent. The same mercy he showed to Israelites as he held the ocean apart that they may pass through on their foot. We believe and continue to seek his face no matter our many failures. He will do the same for us. He has created us to love him, to love him in all things, in, all, in our neighbors as well. Today, God is calling us to back, to calling us back to himself. Let us open our hearts, open our ears to hear his call. Let us pray. God of mercy and compassion, God of love and God of all, you are the I am, the infinite God and lover of the souls of sinners, creator of heaven and earth, giver of all that is good, what an opportunity you have provided us this season. May your word grow in us and the world glorify you for all the good you have and is doing through us. May your will be done on us. Forgive us our mischiefs, our lies, our misrepresentations, our discriminations and the times we have offended you. Hear our prayer and help your people to remain faithful in you through Christ our Lord. Amen.